Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll be having a look at Volta Inc. The big news, the breaking news really is that Volta Inc. appoints Bran Hastings interim CEO. Volta's board of director appointed Bran Hastings chief revenue officer as interim chief executive officer effective immediately. So of course the founders and the CEO have been a relief of their position within the Volta Inc. company. And that was quite recently and naturally it wasn't well received by the public. You know, I don't think the public liked remotely that the founders and previous CEO were being let go of their position, were leaving the company. Ultimately, it was not a good sign because founders led companies tend to do the best historically, actually, if you look at it historically, because they have more invested in the company. It's more than just money for them. It's personal, it's passion, it's ambition, it's love. Actually, sometimes when a founder lead in the company that they founded and in the last month alone, Volta Inc shares have failed almost 50%, I believe almost 50 percent in fact around the 22nd of march the price per share was four dollars 40 cents the price right now per share is two dollars and 43 cents now let's reflect on where the share prices were last year in november it's actually incredible to see that the share prices is so cheap right now it's incredible to see and it's, it's kind of sad because last year in november the 12th price per share was $12.71. So is the Volta share undervalue? Well, yes, extremely undervalue. And the interesting thing is that Volta is an EV charging company. EV charging companies are not difficult to run. They're not difficult to run because it's mostly about funding. It's about funding and open up new spaces, new EV charging stations. That's ultimately what it's about. This puts the share market cap right now at 407 million. Let's not forget one month ago, it was almost doubled that amount. So let's read into the blog post that was published by Volta on why they appointed a new CEO, what it's gonna look like going forward with the new CEO. So Volta announced on the 15th of April that his board of directors appoint Brandt Haston, Chief Revenue Officer at Volvo, as interim chief executive officer, effective immediately. Brandt will also retain his title as Volvo's CRO. This appointment follows Scott Mercer's decision to step down as chairman and CEO of Volta last month. The board has commenced a formal search for a permanent CEO. Haston is a revenue executive with two decades of experience building innovative business models and driving transformation growth for global companies such as iHeartMedia, Clear Channel Communication. Brand currently leads Volta's advertising and charging solution business to deliver measurable impact to top international brands. Agency partners, commercial properties, and retail location, Brand has led Volta. Brandt has led Volta's strong revenue growth and expanded the company's site partner relationship significantly since joining the company. And here's a quote from and here's a quote from Vince Kubec, co-chair of the board. Brandt has been instrumental in building upon Volta's success and has an impressive track record in delivering growth for companies and their stakeholders. We've seen Brandt in action firsthand and at the utmost confidence that his talent and leadership skills will drive results and accelerate Volta's business in the interim role. So right now, Volta is a strong company with intense opportunity as the world transition to electric mobility. Now this was said by Kathy Savitt, co-chair of the board. They also added that we want to thank Scott Mercer who built this company with an incredible vision as the board conducts a complete and formal search for a permanent CEO. We are confident that Brandt will lead Volta's team to realize the company's significant potential. Volta has a proven unique business model that is well positioned for growth, said Haston. I'm excited to build the company's vision and success, helping to accelerate a clean energy future that benefits all of our stakeholders. So that was a statement from so that was a statement from the current CEO and the board. So that was quite so that was quite interesting. Now most of us already know what Volta is. They're a charging network powering vehicles and commerce, but they offer free charging with the chance to advertise to customers and to people who are using their chargers. That's what makes Volta so unique. 
they're in the charging business, the electric charging business, but they're doing it significantly different from other companies. Other companies are charging customers to charge their vehicles while Volta is doing this for free. They're taking a different strategic move in the business world, which I kind of like. I really like this. So yes, Volta shares is heavily undervalued right now, and there's no significant reason why it should be. Now, a number of other research analysis is also weighed in on Volta. The Goldman Sachs Group reduced their price objective on Volta from $7 to $6 and set a neutral rating for the company and research report on Monday, March the 28th. Zach Investment Firm upgraded Volta from sell rating to a hold rating in research on Friday, January the 7th. Panacoid Genuity Group downgraded Volta from a buy rating to a hold rating and dropped their price target for the stock from $10 to $3 in a research note on Monday, March 28th. DA Davison downgraded Volta from a buy rating to a neutral rating and they lowered their target price for the company from $13 to $5 in a research reported on March 28th. So there's a lot of research going around, a lot of pri price prediction by a lot of different companies and companies who hold Volta. They're changing their mind from buying to holding. And some of these companies are also selling, which is why the price is falling so heavily. While passive investors like myself are probably investing in Polestar, while passive investors like myself are possibly investing in Volta, it's currently not enough to make a big difference in the market. The shares outstanding is 167 million. It's a large supply, it's a good, decent supply. This means that it's not so easy to make a big move in this market. You're a needle, if that. You're a needle in a haystack if you invest low capital in the Volvo, it doesn't make a big difference. What makes a big difference is the institutional big businesses like Goldman Sachs. They make a big difference when they invest because they're investing millions or billions. So five equity research analysis is five equity research analysis is rated the stock with a hold rating of four and has assigned a buy to the company stock and have assigned a buy rating to the company stock according to market beat. Volta has a consensus rating of hold and an average target price of $8.44. Nevertheless, it's still heavily undervalued because they're currently in develop because they're currently in expansion to expand the brand within Europe to expand the brand within the Americas as well. Now, a number of hedge funds and other institutional investors has recently modified their holdings of VLTA, which is why the stock prices have been falling so much. Pictet Asset Management raised their stake in shares of Volta by 413% during the fourth quarter. Pictel Asset Management now owns 5.8 million shares of the company's stock, worth 42.7 million after buying an additional 4.6 million shares during the period. Handel Bank and Found Handel Bank and Founder AB increased its stake in the shares of Volta by 120 three percent in the fourth quarter handel bank and founder ab now owns 3.7 million shares of the company stock with 27.3 million after acquiring an additional 2 million shares during the last quarter gerard capital management llc acquired a new stake in volta in the fourth quarter worth 7.6 million alps advise Alp Advisors Inc. acquired a new stake in the in the shares of Volta in the fourth quarter worth 6.8 million. Finally, Tortoise Capital Advisors LLC purchased a new position in shares during the third quarter worth 6.4, almost 6.5 million. Hedge funds and other institutional investors own 20.37% of the company's stock. That's just to put it in perspective. So most of these investments that I just spoke about in the third quarter and in the fourth quarter were last year. Last year, when the price of Volta was skyrocketing at $12.71. November last year, that was the fourth quarter. That's why the price was rising so much because a lot of people, a lot of these hedge funds and institutional investors were buying Volta shares. The problem is now, a lot of them are selling and a lot of them are simply holding instead of continuous buying. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it provided you with some useful information. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video.